Good morning. It is Tuesday, and I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I can hear it. Freaking listen. Do you hear that? Okay, yeah. Apparently, they're deciding to cut down a bunch of the trees, like, in my apartment area. So, um, that's where we're at today. So, I'm going to start to vlog a little bit later. Hopefully, they finish at, like, a decent time. And I just wanted to let you guys know. That is why. So, if you see me at, like, 3 o'clock, there's a reason for it. I'm not just being lazy. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast really quickly because, as we know, Andy is getting back on the skinny train. And, um, actually, I already started eating. I put in, posted a picture on Instagram. Oh, hold on, crazy. I've got some... Uh, Greek yogurt with blueberries and raspberries, a little bit of granola on top. This is a whole wheat English muffin, a little bit of raw agave nectar on top. Okay, I gotta go. My kid is about to have a BF. Hey, you calm down, you little raspberry monster. Let me see. Let me see. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's eating about all of that whole carton. Crazy girl. So, Shosha... My baby girl, love her to death, but she is getting in a serious habit of like eating all of his food, and I feel really bad. It's partial. Okay, look, it's partially his fault because obviously I feed all of us at the same time, right? Right. So he doesn't eat. He does not eat. We all know he's a picky eater. He just doesn't eat anything. So Shosha, you know, takes her time. She eats her food. I, le you know, I'm leaving his food with him so he can eat. He doesn't eat, and she's just like, all right, well, I'm going to help myself. I don't want no food to go to waste. <laughs> so um, I guess he actually wanted what I had made him for breakfast, and she just got to it before he decided he was ready to. And um, so I don't know. I'm making him a snack before his nap time because I want to make sure that he gets something into his belly, which I, I bought these yesterday when I was at the grocery store because... I never buy my kids stuff like this. Joshua's going to be four in January, and till this day, he has never had, like, alphabet soup from a can. What is it? The Chef Boyardee Mini ABCs. He's never had, he's never had that before. So I'm making it for him, and it's a nice chilly day, so he's going to have him some alphabet soup. Huh, babe? Mommy cut up some cheese. Go ahead, take a little bit. I cut up some cheese for you to crumble into it. Give me a kiss. Wow. I love you. And he's going to eat that before he goes down for his nap, and I'm going to do laundry. And then I'm going to chop my hair, and I'm debating on whether or not I should, um... Oh, man, I'm debating on whether or not I should record it for a video for the Andy Land, and I, I would like to, I just don't know, because I'm not gonna do my regular um like my normal haircut that I do every day or not every day but that I that I normally do for myself which I do have a video on that I can link it down below if you guys are interested um but like I'm I have a lot of um I don't know my ends are just really 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 dry because I do use a lot of heat on it and also because of um, all the dyeing and stripping that I've done to my hair in the past, even just the past six months, like I really just need to chop. Let me see. I need to chop at least this much off, like at least this much, which that's like, that's a good amount of hair to chop off. So last night I posted some pictures on Instagram. Um, of some haircuts that I liked because for me if I'm gonna go to a salon and not be happy if, I, if I'm gonna cut my hair and not be happy with it I would rather do it myself than go and pay for somebody to jack up my hair that's just Andy logic okay so um, I'm gonna do it I'm not quite sure I'm 90% I, I'm sure on the one that I want I'm just like oh I don't know if I want my hair to be that short it just it's taken me a long time like, you want cheese Hey. Okay, hold on. Wait till your soup is ready, okay, babe? I don't know. It's just really hard for me to, like, part with my hair. But at the same time, it's like there's no point in having all this hair if it's dead. Like, it's not doing anything for you. It just doesn't look good. So, <sighs> I don't know, guys. Wish me luck. Look, babe. It's got cheese in it. No! Hey, Joshua, honestly, mommy wishes she could eat this crap. <laughs> I wish I could eat this, little boy. It goes straight to my nogas if I do, but it's delicious. You don't know what you're missing out on, babe. This is childhood memory you are missing out on. Okay, so then why did you ask for it? 
Okay, so then it's time to go meet me straight now then. How about that? So I have something to say. Oh, let me pause this. Mute it. You haven't said anything. About the fact that you cut your hair? Huh? About the fact that you cut your hair? Yeah, about the fact that I cut my hair. It looks great. Really? Mm -hmm. Or are you just now noticing it because no, I no, said no. something? No, no, no. No, I said, I noticed it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's really short. It's hecka short. It's not as short as I thought it would be. Really? Mm -hmm. It's really short for me. I like it. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. It's really like, um, here, let me show you the back. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. Like, it's not as short as I thought it would be. I'm glad I didn't have to cut more off, but I really wanted to, like, have a fresh, clean start with my hair. Mm -hmm. So that really required me to take off like a bunch of spitting. <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of <laughs> it really yeah, it really required me to take cut off like a bunch of inches. My my hair used to be to at least the middle of my back, the longest part, because my hair does go down into a V. So it used to go to the middle of my back, at least like where your back and your butt like kind of like that thing, that's where my hair used to go to. And now it's like right above my, it's even more, it's, it's maybe about an inch above where my bra straps in the back. Anywho, we're watching the X Factor and everybody's eating right now. Mommy already had her lunch just a little bit, wow, just a little bit ago. So baby has your sandwich. Uh -uh. No? Presented by the oh, you're telling Shosha, no, she wants your raspberries. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she had almost a whole freaking thing on her own this morning. Up, little girl, eat so much. Ugh, dang it, babe. You know what? I got a pain right here. My thing that happens. I don't know if you guys remember this about me or not, but I've got like a, a pinched nerve ever since I had Alyssa. It started happening right after I had, actually it happened, started happening while I was pregnant with her and got worse after the fact. And now it like, it comes and goes and right now it hurts. I'm doing the Beyonce move right now because it's the only thing that makes me feel better. Have you ever seen her do that? She does that when, she, when she's singing Baby Boy, she pushes her like whole pelvis forward and sways back and forth. She goes, ah, oh, that part. It's like, and it's funny because they all get like right at the edge of the stage, so it crotches in somebody's face, like that. But anyway, <laughs> that's, that's what's going on. I like how my pinched nerve went from me to Beyonce. You think I could do good on the X Factor, babe? I considered it. Uh, American Idol was here a couple years ago. I don't know why I didn't go. I don't know. I don't think I would want to do American Idol. I don't think I would want to do American Idol. American Idol is like old, in my opinion. <laughs> American Idol is so yesterday. It is. American Idol is so yeah. 10 years ago. What, babe? Yeah. What? Let's go. I think the last one of American Idol that I watched and was actually like, oh my god, about was uh, Clay Aiken and Ruben Stutter. Does anybody else remember that? I remember crying when Clay Aiken didn't win. I'm in like the bitchiest of bitchy moods. I haven't been in such a pissy mood in a really long time. I don't know why. I, I don't like every, the sound of anything is just driving me bananas. Like for the past like three hours, just everything is driving me crazy. And I feel like maybe I just need to go like on a long drive by myself or something. I don't know, but anyways. Dinner tonight is really simple. I just Instagrammed a picture. Um, let me show you guys what I got going on here. There is brown rice in here. And um, let's see, we got brown rice, some black beans, some tomato, uh, corn, avocado, a little bit of plain Greek yogurt. That's gonna be really good to just mix up and eat. Really, really delicious, really, really simple. It was quick to throw together as long as you got the brown rice cooked at some point beforehand. In fact, I cooked mine yesterday. Um, and dinner comes together like like quick. It took me about maybe five minutes to chop everything up and put it in a bowl. So there you go. Just throwing that out there to you guys. Pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick dinner and it will be delicious. So Michael and I are drinking coffee. Who else drinks coffee like right before bed? I hope we're not the only ones. You know, I'm sure we're not the only ones. Put your hands up. And um, I'm actually painting my nails. I'm repainting them the same pink color. 
I was going to do an orange, but I'm just like, nah, I'm really in love with this pink color that I got. It is by OPI. Pinking of You, really, really nice neutral pink color. It's bright enough so that like your nail doesn't look naked, but it is neutral enough to where it goes really well with any outfit. It just kind of is like a classic girly look. I like it. And we are watching this thing on Netflix, Michael, my baby doll. Thank you, babe. He's, he, he just, he knows me so well. Um, it's a documentary on, is it, was it, would this be considered a documentary? A what? Would this be considered a documentary? Um. Or it's just a TLC special. Yeah. There you go. It's a TLC special <coughs> on like extravagant, it's called Extreme Christmas Trees. And like, like for example, these people right now are building a Christmas tree for their city out of lobster cages. It's in Maine, so they, I guess, are the fish capital or whatever. So they're making, uh, they're making a tree out of lobster cages. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry, I don't eat fish, so I don't follow like fish news daily. You know what you I mean? Don't. No. You get on that. I know, right? <laughs> fish news daily is where to get all of your exactly. Fish. <laughs> so, oh. You guys may or may not know this about me, but I love, although fall is my favorite season, Christmas is my favorite, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I just love all the colors, the red and the green. What movie is that from? Do you know what movie that's from? Oh my gosh. If you know what movie that's from, leave it down below, let me know. <laughs> um, Christmas is my favorite time of year. Like, people are just happy. Like, I don't know. It's just, it, it's fun. I'm not all, like, crazy about, like, the long psycho lines at Target when I'm trying to just buy toothpaste. <laughs> Waiting an hour in line for toothpaste. Remember that when we went Black Friday shopping and we had, like, our toys and then you're like, oh, crap, we need toothpaste and toilet paper. <laughs> like, oh, well, the line goes through here. these aisles. Might as well. <laughs> Anywho, I think we're going to go to bed soon. <sighs> I'm sorry that I've been in such a crabby mood lately, or today, babe. I'm just not feeling, not feeling good. Not feeling good, and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And um, I think that's going to do it for us. We're just going to continue to watch this, um, drink some coffee, and then go to bed. So, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I was saying, oh, I did record myself um, cutting my hair. I don't even think I really mentioned the fact that I cut my hair on the vlog. I just recorded it. Anyways, I cut my hair. If you haven't been able to tell, I posted some pictures on Instagram, and it's a lot shorter. It's very similar to the uh, the Rachel. Does anybody remember that haircut from the 90s? Like, friends? <laughs> It's a little shorter than I wanted to go, but I feel it feels good to have, like, a fresh... You know, like nothing dead on my head at all. Like everything is nice. Yeah, it's just like I'm. I'm just. Good to have a fresh. It's a really good base. It's a really good base to just, you know, do what I gotta do. Let my hair grow out. Be really nice to it, even though I have bright red hair. <laughs> be as nice to it as I can, and um, you know, just really, really do be good about not using so much heat on it. But anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you mañana.